Happy Friday. So I wanted to do an episode in California. My sister is also a big know-it-all about plants like I am. Look at this gorgeous hibiscus. Are you guys so excited? So Laura's taking a long time doing whatever she's doing. So I'm going to take a minute to talk to you about the dwarf banana plants that she has. I guess they keep splitting, so she has to put them in different pots, but none of them have fruited yet. But this is what they look like. And they grow pretty well. Exciting, right? And this pretty guy is a kiwi vine. So, kiwis grow on vines. And look at this part right here. It's hairy, like a kiwi. The whole leaf is like that. Isn't that amazing? These little guys are dragon fruits that she started from seed two. Look, one, two, three plants. That's gonna be my first. This is it's only a year oh, old. Oh, cool. But that'll be my first dragon fruit. Cool. It looks like a like a plant wart. <laughs> this beautiful creature is Larry, my sister. Larry, tell us about your compost. That's two sided. Um, fifty percent food, fifty percent um, other sources like. Either grass, we use grass, um, but you can put sticks and leaves because um, you have to have a nitrogen source. So you mean food like like food. vegetable clippings and stuff yeah. like that? All fruits, cool. vegetables, eggshells. Oh, it was a slug. Um, but we eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, and so I, do, I use one side at a time. Um, so this one here, we can mix it up. It doesn't smell bad. I've smelled some people's before. It's terrible. When you mix it up, you can see all of the worms. Um, and you didn't transplant any of these? No. Uh, huh. But but they're all over. We do get ants, but I don't I don't mind the ants. Um, and then once this is ready, in probably another month or so, uh, maybe a little bit longer. So the the volume decreases a lot. But once this is ready, then we'll um, start using this, and then we'll uh, switch over to this side, and then I'll just let that one. Um, you know, turn into compost. Uh, right now there's a lot of food and stuff, so this one had bigger sticks. If you want it to compost a lot faster, then, you know, cut up like your watermelon grinds into smaller pieces and put a lot smaller pieces. So this one will take a little bit longer. But, so you use this for your gardening? Yeah. Cool. And you feed your plants, you know, once, twice a month. So just sprinkle a little bit and it makes them really happy. Really quick, I wanted to show you guys her pineapples. So Laura starts pineapples the same exact way that I do. There you that, go. There's three right there. Oh yeah. yeah, they're way more smashed together. Well, this is my moringa tree. Um, it's completely edible. The bark, the um, the leaves, the flowers. Um, they go really good on salads, but it's one of the most nutritious plants like on earth. Um, and it has it's really high in calcium, um, iron. Um, and it's, it tastes like a little bit weird, but it goes really well on, um, salads. What color are the flowers? Um, uh, you can see. Well, they're, they're little buds right now. Are they yellow? No, they're white. Oh. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's really, um, just nutritious. It's something they use it in a lot of third world countries because it provides like a ton of nutrients for people that, you know, don't have a lot of food. Um, and it's really easy to grow. It grows in almost any climate. Show me your passion fruit. <laughs> passion fruit vine. Um, this guy, he's about two years old, but oh, there go. look, guys. Yeah. Little passion fruits. The passion fruits. So they fall off, um, and then they they turn kind of wrinkly, um, and they're really sweet on the inside. But it, tell me why you have everything in pots too. Oh, because we rent and we don't <laughs> own. So you want to take your babies with you? Yeah, when we move. Because we grow a lot of stuff from seed, like most of our trees. Uh, but, yeah, eventually. <laughs> Thanks for visiting my garden. Stay safe. Bye, Laura. Bye.